Hello, Leo. Welcome. These messages are for January 13th through the 20th, 2024. I'll never DM you, solicit you guys, or ask for money. If you want to book with me a reading, you can do so through my Etsy. It's safe and secure. And follow me on my other platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. This reading is going to be guiding light messages. We're also having Mercury enter into Capricorn until the 5th of February. And there's a lot of like breaking up stagnation kind of energy with that. Okay. This is like more plans be being put like kind of into like solid action. This is like breaking up stagnation. This is like finishing cycles, all of that. Okay. So what is your message? So we have soul contracts. So yeah, for you, Leo, you could be dealing with some people in your life that are actually soul contracts that you had a past life with or many past lives with, and you're trying to either repay debt or they owe you something or you owe them something. This could be people like in your soul family. This could be just one person that you feel this soul connection with and that you may have karma with, okay? So before you were born, you know, you agreed to partake in specific experiences that would assist in your, you know, soul's evolution, if that makes any sense. But yeah, this is like somebody in your life that maybe, you know, you have kind of like a strained connection or a difficult connection with this person or somebody that, you know, is teaching you like really tough lessons or you've learned relationship lessons from this or family lessons or um, you know, painful or hurtful lessons, but you're clearing karma and you're teaching yourself and you're teaching this person as well. So in this Mercury and Capricorn, you know, Mercury going into Capricorn energy, like I was talking about, I feel like you've been feeling forgotten and left out and like, you don't matter. Like no one cares about you or, you know, you come second best to people when people should put you first. And you're really struggling a lot lately with this, but this is big energy and big movement energy for you for change things about yourself, you know, that you don't like a lot of it's ego stuff. Leo, a lot of it, a lot of it is energy that's helping you strip away your ego because some of the parts of your ego don't serve you at all. They don't serve you and they don't serve others. So this is like a time for you to take this energy and figure out what your unfilled or unmet needs are. Understand what those unmet needs are because they might be from childhood. And if it's from a partner, whatever it is, if it's from family, I feel like you're going to be addressing this and you will have time to do the groundwork and you will have to try to do the groundwork as much as possible but this is like committing to some type of healing in some way shape or form okay it could be shadow work it could be journaling it could be taking an art class yes art therapy is a real thing it could be inner child work it could be speaking with a talk therapist person but you have all the energy to support you now for finishing a project getting back to something that you once abandoned or something that you once loved or going back to a relationship and trying to fix some things or clear the air or, you know, get closure. It could be something with money or work, but this is like cycles closing energy, okay? A tough cycle for you is coming to an end where you can take this energy and you can like, you know, accomplish any big goals that you have. You can move forward and, you know, you have this, I want to leave my legacy. I want to leave my legacy energy around you. So yeah, it's about choosing wisely, kind of thinking about how things will affect you and your relationships and your future relationships and your future period. You might have specific things that you're still working on that, you know, you set out to learn as part of your contracts with people. Um, it's all experience, like I said, for your soul's evolution. There's neither good nor bad and you're learning from everything, the good and the bad. So I feel like you need to look at the bad too and say, well, yes, that was bad or this is bad, but it's making me stronger. It's teaching me X, Y, Z. Um, and even though you have contracted certain experiences, I feel like for your soul's growth, you also have free will. So it is how you choose and how you respond to the events of your life. But yeah, big change energy coming in and through for you, Leo. Check back next week, love and light.